hello everybody today i am going to teach you that how you can represent the earth surface on a flat surface or a two dimensional surface now before i start my teaching i have a request to all of you if you like my video lecture or the presentation please do subscribe my channel because if you subscribe my channel whenever i upload any kind of informative video definitely you will get the notification in your mobile phone now let me begin the teaching we can represent earth surface by means of globe map sketch and plan what is a globe a globe is a three dimensional model of the earth surface it can accurately depict the scale of continents and ocean that means it can accurately show the shape of the continents and ocean and just like the earth a globe have a axis and it can be freely moved on it axis what are the limitations of using globe first of all it is difficult to carry secondly it does not show details of geographic features number 3 only a part of the earth can be seen on the globe at a glance number 4 one cannot make a globe for a particular place on the earth and so it cannot be used to study a city or a town now what is a map the representation of whole or part of earth surface on a flat surface according to a scale is called map so map is simply we can say the projection of three dimensional earth surface on a two dimensional piece of paper a map use different colors titles symbols and signs to give accurate information this is called map language as you can see in this map different signs title color and symbols are used for example india geographical map is the title letter n is the sign and blue color line is the color for river and also the symbol black color triangle is the color and symbol for mountain peak what are the importance of map or what are the advantages that a map is having for that it is important first of all it is easy to carry a map secondly on a map a small area can be represented with detailed information thirdly different types of map like physical political or thematic are useful to show different types of information however a map is not accurate like a globe because whenever we represent a three dimensional object on a two dimensional surface it cannot be accurate there will be some distortion now types of maps according to scale according to scale there are two kind of map small scale map and large scale map a small scale map show us a very large area with few details for example world map on the other hand a large scale map show us a very small area with many details for example map of cities as you can see in this map of kolkata different roads railway lines important places are shown now we also classify maps according to functions physical map on a physical map various landforms are shown using color and symbols like if you see in this map you will find that peaks are shown by using black color triangle water bodies are shown by using blue color plateaus are shown by using red color etc 
they are used in the planning for building roads railway lines and dams political map on a political map different kind of man made political features are shown like capital as you can see in this map that is delhi international boundary that separating india from pakistan and states like telangana they are used in surveying various cultural historic and economic activities thematic map on a thematic map a particular subject or theme is shown like in this particular map distribution of annual rainfall is shown in different parts of india beside rainfall climate agriculture population distribution can also be represented by means of thematic map now how we can measure distance through map for measuring distance through map we have to construct a line a straight line by using scale as you can see in this topographical map i have constructed a scale sorry i have constructed a line by using ruler and the name of the line is ab now i have said you already that we prepare map and we also measure distance on it by following a specific scale now the distance of the line ab that is distance along the straight line is the map distance the same distance which is measured on the ground along a straight line is called ground distance the scale of a map is the ratio between map distance and ground distance suppose the scale of the map is 1 cm to 500 m that means 1 cm on the map is equivalent to 500 m on the ground representing a scale on a map there are three types of scale statement scale representative fraction and graphical scale in the given map ab is a straight line between two points so at first i will discuss the statement scale for example 1 cm to 500 m is a statement scale where map distance is equal to ab ab is a straight line equal to 1 cm and ground distance equal to ab equal to 500 m that means what is the statement scale what does it depict that 1 cm on the map is equal to 500 m on the ground next one is representative fraction 1 by 50000 in this method relationship between map and ground distance is represented by a numerical fraction so now map distance equal to ab equal to 1 unit ground distance equal to ab equal to 50000 unit if you observe over here you will find i am not using any specific unit why because it is simply a fraction where you can put any kind of convenient unit suitable for measuring distance on the map or constructing a map as you can see over here i have written this scale have no specific unit therefore unit suitable for drawing map can be used as per the system of measurement used in a country for that reason this scale is also known as universal scale now how we represent distance by graphical scale or linear scale 
in this method the map distance is shown with the help of a straight line as you can see over here i have drawn one straight line this line is further divided into parts called primary divisions and this straight lines is subdivided into how many division if you observe in this map as many as uh five division and usually the first primary division on the left hand side is again subdivided into division called secondary division and if you observe on the left hand side you will find what again the primary division is subdivided into small small division that is called secondary division directions on a map how do we represent directions there are four cardinal direction or primary direction that is north south west and east now in between this primary direction there are intermediate direction like northwest northeast southwest southeast so in total there are eight main directions four are cardinal direction or primary direction and another four are intermediate directions you can see in this diagram the directions are represented by means of capital english alphabet now how we can find direction well if you get up from your bed early in the morning when the sun is rising and if you stand like this boy facing the sun then you can find the direction very easily because early in the morning we all know that sun rises from the east so when you are facing towards the sun you are facing towards the east then your back is west your left hand side is north and right hand side is south so in this way you can find the direction manually by using the rising sun in the morning now suppose there is no sun you can see in the sky due to cloud cover then wh what you will do at that time you can use a device that is called magnetic compass the needle of the magnetic compass always point towards north south direction it is also known as mariner's compass why because this compass is also used by the captains of the ship convectional symbols and legend what are convectional symbols convectional symbols are widely recognized signs or sign system that signify a concept or an idea that all members of a group understand based on a common cultural understanding simply if i say you see on a map we represent different kind of information we show different kind of information on a map so to make the task easier for us we use convectional symbols like you can see in this diagram if you can recall in the previous slide when i have shown you the physical map of india over there different kind of symbols are used to represent different types of geographic features so convectional symbols are used for that purpose only for representing small small detail information in the map now what is key or legend when all relevant convectional symbols are given at the bottom of a map it is called key or legends now for your information children a convectional symbol must be accepted by many countries that means a common convectional symbols must be used by many countries then it will be easier for us to understand and construct the map 
sketch what is a sketch now for preparing a map we have to assume a scale or without a scale it is difficult to prepare a map but when we prepare a map without using the scale just to provide idea regarding location of various places to someone then it is called sketch a sketch is a rough drawing which is drawn without using a scale or any convenient signs or symbol like in this sketch if you see you will find that different types of roads are shown many people consider sketch map easy to use because they are not crowded with unnecessary details on a sketch map unnecessary details are not shown like in this sketch map only the name of the roads and their position has been shown plan a plan is a accurate map of a very small area like a house or a building complex like over here this is a plan for a building and of course while preparing a plan we have to assume one scale like over here if you observe that in this particular building the length and breadth of each and every room has been mentioned whether it is living room whether it is kitchen bedroom etc so a plan contain minute details about a area so with this i complete my video lecture session hopefully you have liked the lecture if you have problem in understanding the lecture don't forget to sms sms me in my whatsapp number or you can do one thing you can put your question on the comment box of youtube thank you